Picture number one going up. Hey, Bobby. Hello. What you doing? Putting up pictures. Because of who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did this all by yourself? Yeah. You wanted this all by yourself? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's the first one. So there's picture number two. Uh, above the bed as headboard, if you will. It's a little crooked, but I'll fix that. And supervisors number one and two. And here is picture, well not picture, but item number three. Hey, Bobby. What's up? What you doing? I got grapefruit. So recently, April has been diagnosed with high blood pressure and high cholesterol. So <clears throat> we're doing a couple things to, I'm eating more fruit. There's my bananas. i uh, eating sweet potatoes. Uh, not using salt. And grapefruit is supposed to be really good and help your blood pressure. So we decided to get one and taste it because I've never eaten one, I don't think. I know they're sour or tart. They're I've tart. had one before, but it's been a while. So we're going to try a grapefruit. Hey, Bobby. Mm -hmm. What's today? Oh. <laughs> Today's April's anniversary. April's anniversary. <laughs> You've been married. How many, how many years? 24 years. Yep. We've been each other's love of our lives for 24 years today. Well, and together we've been 25 and a half years. We were together a year and a half before we got married. So. It don't count. I knew day two. It don't count until you, until you put the ring on it. <laughs> well, it smells good. It smells kind of like an orange. I need to sharpen our knives. Mm. Take a big old bite. I'm going to flip the camera, even <laughs> though I got my pajamas on. <laughs> Dirty pajamas. Okay, <laughs> here we go. In the middle, I tell you, we'll be cut. It smells you good. You're going to get cut. My uh, Rocky in this scenario. Yeah. Cut me, Nick. Come here, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I need to sharpen our knives. Yeah. What are we having for supper tonight? We have a wings. Yeah. You taking me out somewhere fancy? Uh-huh. Right over to the couch. <laughs> yeah. See what this thing tastes like. Wait, wait, wait. Gotta get in the camera so we can see our face. Maybe. In case we make <laughs> funny faces. <laughs> Ready? It smells really good. I'm just, I cut mine out, so I'm just going to take the whole chunk. April's going to bite into this big old piece. Nope. Be careful. <laughs> Sorry. All right. You guys, wait a minute. Hold on. You got the camera all. Look, you got to get it. I was yeah. watching you cut. I know. One, two, three. That's good. It is tart, but I could eat it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Oh, look, alarm. 1230. <sighs> oh, okay, it's got an after aftercare. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of like, reminds me of pink lemonade. Hmm. It's not horrid. No, it's not as tart as I thought. Like mm. my memory, my memory was wrong. Right. I mean, I get up. Ooh. A lot of times your memory is not accurate. Mm-hmm. There's a slight bitter. It's not good. But, um, I don't not like it. Hmm. I, I don't know that I've ever tried one, honestly, but I'm sure I have. You got your dirty Shut pajamas. Up. Oh, yeah. 
That was probably oatmeal. <laughs> Bella, come over here. Uh oh. Hold on, I gotta get decent. You've been on the camera for five minutes! <laughs> She's gotta get decent now. Gotta get decent now. Yes, I am on the So, what's your favorite part of 24 years of living with me? <laughs> Ooh, buddy. My favorite uh -oh, oh. part. No, no, let's start with this. We'll do the bad and then the good. And we're gonna be honest. What's the worst part about living with me? I'm trying to think, think of a word. I, I think I know there. what it is. I think it's his literalisms. Uh huh. And the whole taking everything so literal. Because she's married to a programmer. So everything is literal to me, like a computer. Right. What's the worst thing about living with me? I shouldn't have prepared for that while you were doing it. Right. You asked me, I can ask you. So the best thing about living with him. Yeah, yeah. Do that and then I'll think. The best thing about living with him is his, uh, first, his devotion and commitment to the Lord. And then second is his devotion and commitment to me. He, in every way, lets me know that I am the most important thing to him. I come before his job. Uh, he has always told me that I'm first, and he shows it in every way. True. I got it. Okay. Oh, Lord. And I don't think you're going to guess it. So... She nailed, like, um, I was thinking exactly what she thought when she said the hardest thing to live with me. Uh, I think it would be twofold, the hardest thing to live with me. And then I want you to think about this, what I'm, what do you think I'm going to say? And, and we're honest. We're tra yeah. very transparent. I believe she, what she said is correct, except the second thing. My consistency is also there. So the way that I think is very logical, and I'm consistent. So once I decide, like, for example, I wake up every morning, I go over to that corner, I turn on the heater. I do it every morning consistently. consistently. And if I ever put something in, it's like, okay, hey, April, remember to do this. It's like, it drives her crazy, I'm sure, because I'm like, didn't I tell you to do this? And she's like, yes, but what I'm supposed to remember immediately? Uh, and it's just, that's the way my brain works. I'm a computer, so once I program myself, I just do it. I swear he's a computer. He is made of, <laughs> of a computer. So, so I'm yeah. sure that's... Very annoying. <laughs> Somewhat. My biggest frustration with April, as far as being my wife, is her lack of uh, confidence in herself. It mm -hmm. drives me absolutely crazy. Because she's one of the strongest women I've ever known, she will believe in everyone else, but she won't believe in herself, and it drives me absolutely mm -hmm. insane. Like, constantly have to be like, but why? <laughs> She's like, I don't know. <laughs> like, and, uh, that's, it just drives me nuts. And I the thing, cry a lot. And the thing that I love the most about my wife is the fact that I could literally say, I think we should do this as a family. And she would immediately go, okay. Mm -hmm. She's always there to be supportive. She's always there to say, you know, for example, when we lived in Easley and I said, you know, I need to build my career so that we can get out of debt, so we can pay off all of our bills. She's like, okay. And then when I said one day, I said, come home, we need to talk. <laughs> She's right. like, what? She comes home and I said, what do you think about moving to the country? Mm -hmm. And she's like confused because I said we're gonna live in that we house. We had always forever. said we were dying in that house because it was paid off and we didn't have a mortgage. Right. Yeah. And... Well, and so and I think if right now I said, hey, I think we need to move to New York City or L.A. and become a programmer mm. um, and make five hundred thousand dollars a year, it, it would be. <laughs> I <Wait> think <laughs> I think it would be something. It's like okay, but it, now I'm not saying it's immediately. Sometimes it takes a minute. But she's always supportive. Always, 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 always. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we've been married 24 years, and in no way, shape, or form 
do we think we have a perfect marriage? None. Because we're two imperfect people that are imperfect together. Right. <laughs> so, Definitely. Uh, I constantly have to, and I do though. Now, okay, so let's ask this question. What do you think is key to staying married for 24 years? Uh, there's a couple things. I think communication, and this is in no particular order. Cause and that's hard. Communicate. It's very hard. It's hard for me. I mm -hmm. don't always use the right words in my communication, and that's hard for him as a literal comprehension of what <laughs> I'm saying. Oh. So, communication, I think forgiveness of each other. And I think... Because um, we're flawed. I was telling Bobby <laughs> about um, getting a word for the year. and Oh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That would be good. But it, you're supposed to pick your word, like your focus word of the year. And I told him that ours could be grow this year. Uh, we want to first grow in the Lord. Second, grow with each other. And third, we want to grow food. We want to grow fruit that. trees and vegetables and ugh, and um, all that stuff like that. So, and grass. We want to grow grass. Yeah. So I think our word for the year is going to be grow. And, um, our theme. Our theme. And it is, you know, just to focus on each other more. To focus on the Bible more. We're doing our reading every day. Like it's something we both agree and understand that does not get skipped. Um, even in the car, if we have to be somewhere early, we read, we listen to the Bible in the car and all that. And it is a base foundation for us. And um, so, um, but grow is where we're going with this for the year. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we'll grow some tomatoes and jalapenos so I cannot have to go to the store and buy tomatoes and jalapenos all the time. When we started though, before we, oh, what do you think it takes to? Oh yeah. You got. All so I said track. communication, forgiveness. <laughs> I did get all sidetracked. Um, and that, to speak on to speak on the communication for a second, and to speak on the forgiveness. The communication part is very hard. You okay? Yeah, I'm hot. Okay. I have a hot flash or something. I've been struggling. <laughs> <laughs> I have. So say some prayers for me. <laughs> but communication. Uh, communication's hard, especially you gotta take the time. Okay. Some tips for me. You gotta take the time to take a deep breath when you feel like your emotions are getting in the way of your communication. Mm -hmm. If you're get, if you feel like you're not being heard, if you feel like you're not <clears throat> sometimes saying the right thing because you're trying to express how you feel in the moment of being in an emotional state. So if you're if you're in a bad emotional state, it's very hard to communicate. It's very hard to communicate if you find out some bad news or if your heart's broke or if you've been hurt, you know, whatever you think. Whatever you think. Oh, by, by the way, this is what I, this is what I tell April all the time. This is how I feel. I don't want to feel this way. My brain knows better than to feel this way. I'm being an idiot and I'm really frustrated or I'm angry or I'm sad or I, my feelings are hurt. Even though I know that I shouldn't be, I know logically speaking that I should not be upset right now. Right. But I'm very angry right now. And I need to get that off my chest and I need you to understand that I'm feeling angry and I don't want to be. Like, I don't want to be upset right now. But there's times when you just have to say to the other person to let them know, I don't want to feel this way, but I feel this way. Now, if you want to feel that way, say also, say, I want to feel this way. But sometimes we have to stop and allow our emotions to calm down so that we can communicate properly. Sometimes the emotions get in the way. Mm -hmm. For sure. And especially with mm -hmm. me, because I get very emotional at the drop of a hat, we're not even arguing and I'm crying. Yeah, I was, and, I've, I've been, we've been trying lately to say, okay, well, I want to have a conversation about this. I know it's a sensitive to topic. Can we just talk about it without crying? <laughs> no. <laughs> Two seconds in. Ah, like, what are we doing? <laughs> and it's not him that causes me to cry. It's just... I said, I just want to talk about things. I am, today. And I said, I don't want you to feel bad. We're just going to talk about the topic. I want to try to think about whatever. 
I just want to talk about it. And immediately she gets, sometimes, she'll just get defensive or uh, down on herself, like I said earlier, in the confidence part. Uh, and I'm like, but this has nothing to do with you. I'm just talking about the topic. And then it doesn't matter. Sometimes right. it's just hard. It's yeah. hard sometimes to communicate. Because it's two people. There, Anytime you get yeah. two people in any kind of relationship, you're going to have difference of opinions. You're going to have different viewpoints. And it's hard sometimes to communicate. The other thing about the forgiveness, um, forgiveness sometimes requires an apology. Mm. And something that we went through even recently is you when you go to apologize, you need to apologize. Don't apologize for the sake of apologizing. Apologize. And I, I try to make it a habit if I'm apologizing to April to get down on my knees and lower myself in front of her to let her know that I truly mean it. A humble, a very humble apology. And I think it's a lot easier to forgive someone for something that, that they've done or even if they didn't do anything wrong. Let's say you didn't do anything wrong, but that other person feels like you have. I apologize for that. If, 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 if now, if it's something that I feel strongly about and I'm not going to apologize for, I won't. I also do not apologize if, if it's something that I feel like should not be apologized for. It, it, and you may ask yourself, what, what, what would that look like? And here's a good example. I will never apologize for following God's word, ever. Right. I don't care. I don't care who disagrees with it. I don't care if April disagrees with it. I don't care if the whole world disagrees with it. I, don't, I didn't write the Bible. I didn't write the rules, I didn't create the universe, and I will never apologize for what God's Word says, ever. And I will always stand on God's Word, even if I disagree with it. I didn't create the universe, I don't get to make the rules. And if you can't, if you, (laughs) and frankly, if you don't believe that, then you're not a Christian, so don't, just don't act it. Uh, You either believe God's Word or you don't. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why people have a hard time with that, and I don't, never apologize for following God's Word. Now, it doesn't mean that you're always right if you're following God's Word and treating people like crap, saying you're following God's Word. But there are things that people don't comprehend about the Bible. There are things that people think they understand about the Word, but they've never read the Word. When I read the Word, I read the Word to understand what God said, not what God said for me or what God said. What do I want God's Word to say? I read God's Word for what God's Word is. What does the word say? What does the Hebrew words mean? What does the Greek words mean? Going all the way back to understanding what was the context, who was being said, why was it being said, and all that kind of you know good stuff. So when I read God's word and I have an understanding, I stand on it, and I'll never apologize for it. However, everything else I'll apologize for. <laughs> Take two. April's feeling better. April's not having hot flash at the current moment. Well, she's feeling better. She ain't feeling good. Mm-hmm. But we are having wings, so she'll feel better in a little bit. I'll be fine in a minute when I get some my sweet tea. <laughs> Ooh, I should start that. I don't know what we were talking about. Uh, we were finishing up, I guess, the anniversary video mm-hmm. and talking about marriage. But yeah, things it takes to make marriage work. Forgiveness. I just, uh, since we did the last take, I learned a couple other things that are. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's been doing some some uh, studying. <laughs> like him coming over to the sink every time I'm washing dishes. She splashes the water everywhere. <laughs> it's like she's up there like a duck in a wa- in a pond <laughs> instead of spraying the water. I clean it up when I'm done. <laughs> anyway, we just need to close out the video and mm. to say. We don't really, uh, I guess to recap, and maybe I'll restate, we don't really know what our videos are going to be like. I'm going to try to put some, try some different styles, Mm -hmm. but we're going to try to get better at our videos. We're going to try to get a better theme, if you will. What are we doing? And I think the theme is going to be us learning. Growing. Growing. And maybe just sharing 
some of what we've learned. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know if, if people are interested in, you know, we're going to try to go, not try, we're going to go completely off grid. So we've got all the components for that. Hopefully enough. If not, we'll right. buy more. <laughs> but we're going completely off grid. We just did our walk and talked about where we're going to put the solar panels. Mm -hmm. And I'm, we don't, our channel is not a, this is how you do it. Our channel is a, this, this is, is how, how we did we it. we did it. This, all of this is how we did it. We installed the cabinets. We built this wall. Uh, we put did the backsplash all, up, we did everything. All the sheet just, and there's no learning curve here. We just. Oh, there's a learning curve. We Well, I mean, there's no teaching curve here. We didn't <laughs> do it correctly or Everybody anything. Else, we're, everyone likes to make it up wrong words. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're not here to teach how to do it. Right. We're here to share what we did and we'll answer questions. Uh, and we will give, uh, our take on things, but not necessarily this is how you should do it. It does work. I mean, I, we're loving our new place. Mm -hmm. Hey Ava, what you doing? <laughs> I'm about to feast on some hot wings. And potatoes. Look at this. This is one of our favorite meals, and it's kind of become a staple for April's anniversary. <laughs> our anniversary. <laughs> you are My very anniversary. white right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying that like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not flushed and hot bothered right now. So, but yes, this is wings. Oh, dinner. Look at I request this. Sweet tea. I just. I don't want to go out to eat. Why well, go out to eat and get mediocre food when I can stay right here in my pajamas, <laughs> and which I have not left all day, by the way, but, um, and get good food. Pause okay. the movie to go pee, pet my dogs. All right, let's go eat. Yep. Yeah.